Hey guys, what's up? I'm Crazy Hank, and welcome back to El Sword. We are on our way now to the Nisod Foundry on any difficulty, the brand new one that opened up. We only have two more in Altera. We're making such good time with this. Okay, so normal Nisod Foundry. Let's do it up. Hopefully I have room to hold stuff. Do I? Oh, I can't look open the inventory while it's loading. <laughs> hopefully I have enough inventory space. I haven't sold anything in a while, so hopefully there's enough in there. Is there? Is there? Is there? Okay, there's enough, yeah. There's three spots, that, that's good enough. Okay, so now we have to finally start defeating Crow Rider, who's in this dungeon, and that's part of our uh, job change quest as well, so we'll get three of the f or three of the nine finished just by completing these quests, but of course, that still leaves six that I have to come back and do. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the second job change quest. They're intentionally made so that you buy them from the store. They assume that if you played the game this long, you're willing to buy stuff from the store, and it just makes it so much easier. Such a pain to get the second job change. Oh well. We're gonna do it. We're gonna prove to them that we are not afraid of their... their insanity, their evil. We're not, nothing, nothing will stop us. Nothing will hinder us from destroying everything in our path on the way to the second job change. Nothing will stop us. All right, next floor. What you got for me? Okay. Yeah, you can deal with the shield guy. <laughs> Have fun with that. I'm so mean. I am such a jerk. And can I hit more than one with this? Maybe. Nope. I was hoping to hit that guy up top, but oh well. Worst things have happened. Like peanut butter and ketchup together. Oh jeez. I'm flat. Hey man, I'm flat. I am very two-dimensional kind of person. Oh come on. Sometimes flattening takes longer than others to actually uh, deactivate. Or go away, I guess. Deactivate is probably not a good way to put that, but whatever. It's not like I intentionally activate flatness. Unlike the, the giant or dwarf potions, flatness is not a good thing. Oh, he gets like three down there to himself. I only got one. And he and he was still faster than me. I'm so bad at this game. And he has to cry. Nice. Games. Damage and its HP and its combos. And we do stabby. Yeah, that's right. I used to have one stabby with one blade. Now I have like a million stabby. What do you guys think of that? Not you guys. You guys. I meant the monsters. The monsters. The Nassad guards and all them them crazy things. I don't think monsters is exactly a good name to call them. Maybe enemies. Uh. Environmental hazards. You know, that kind of stuff. But now I get you guys to myself, and I'm gonna go. Unless Sammy comes and ruins my fun. He always really likes to ruin my fun. And boop. See, he killed him before my fireball could. He's so mean. Oh, wait, this dungeon's really short on normal load. Shorter than I remember, actually. And yeah, fireball win. Fireballs in the face, man! What you gonna do about that? Oh yeah. Okay, Crow Rider. Or should I call you Prototype of Raven? Doop. Doop. And doop. Ah, you're poison! Ah ha ha. The plan is all coming together, just according to Keikaku. Kudos if you get that reference, by the way. Yeah, that was that was a little bit short notice to actually jump. It's like, oh, cannon blade, jump to avoid. By the time I looked at the message, I, he'd already shot me in the face with his cannon blade. Whatever. Whatever, man. I'm just gonna let you do you, and I'ma do me. Kill this crow rider prototype, which is very small for some reason. Sammy, how did I beat you to killing mine? Do do do. Team effort. Friendship is magic, everybody. I always wait, when he comes down, I always wait a little bit, because sometimes it lags and it shows him coming down, but he's not actually there, so if you do an attack, it's just a complete, a complete waste. What kind of combo was that? That was new. At least not that I remember. And I fought this guy many times. Ah, come on. I don't think I've awakened at all today. <laughs> In the last couple episodes, I don't think I've done any awakening. Ah, come on, prototypes. Why you gotta ruin my good time? 
Uh, come on, don't come uh. Wow, Sammy Sammy kicked my butt on that one, but that's because he's awakened. He has his full power available to him. I'm being very conservative with my power. Coming down. Okay. Yeah, it's not lagging this time, of course. Now that someone's actually watching, it's not lagging, but whatever. Whatever. And we beat Crow Rider. One out of nine times! Woohoo! Only eight more to go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Oh uh, yeah. A rank. Gonna call it right now. Man, I'm so good. I, I'm just so good. I'm so good. And again, no event experience. I'm not sure why that is. I know it mentioned that in the last episode, I think, and it's just weird. There was event experience before. Maybe it's for certain dungeons. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not savvy on that kind of stuff. Welcome back. What does the base look like? Metally and big. So an endless line of com combat Nassad's coming out of the production line. It sounds worse than I thought. I was ready to risk my life if it was for the sake of my studies, but... <laughs> Bring me so much inf useful information. Please go back to the manufacturing base and destroy the Nassad producers. Okay. And I can go ahead and do that. So we're going to take our standard jump cut and go ahead and do very hard in just a short time. Are you ready for it? Kapow! And there we have it. We've leveled up to level 37 and finished hard. Alright, I can't imagine how angry the Nassads must be. Good job getting rid of the new soldiers. It's only a matter of time before they start weakening. Deep within the Nassad foundry lies a Nassad master that all Pongos fear. King Nassad Scorpion. We can't do anything against it. Yada yada yada. Random symbols for no apparent reason. Go find that Scorpion King and destroy it! For the sake of justice and love of Pongo Manatee! Okay, so now we're gonna go to the Nassad Foundry on very hard. And Sammy has to take us there. Because he's the party leader. Which is okay. As long as he takes us there. I don't think he was he's the party leader. I had forgotten about that too. There we go. Now I'm the party leader. Woohoo! Okay. And engine. Uh, not all solar planes. Not all solar planes. There, there, there. Nassad Foundry. Start. Let's go kill some Nissad Scorpion Kings. Three. Two, one, engage. Oh, I have a summon. I'm gonna use my summons. I didn't forget this time. I didn't forget. Doop. Yay! I have a summon now. And doop -doop -doop. So this should be the last time we have to go through the uh, through the Nassad Foundry, at least for the story quest. For the job change quest, I have to go through it. After this one, it'll be another five times. Which is, I guess it's not that bad. But then I have to go through Altera Core a total of five times too, and that's gonna be a pain. I mean, three of those I'll have to do for the story quest anyway, but still, still, I still take issue with that. That's okay, I think this is the worst part of the quest. I think the last part is not quite as painful. It's still painful, but it's not quite as infamously painful as killing one boss nine times. And the quests to get later stuff are even worse. Like the the advanced training applications and the expert training applications, which are like the, the very high level up skills that you can unlock, they're just painful. They're just so painful. They're just horrible monstrosities of nightmarishness. And it'll be a long time before you guys see those, but like, jeez, they're, ju they're just absurdly difficult. Not, not difficult as in like, oh, they, they kill you a lot. Difficult as in, oh, geez. Difficult as in, they just take a long time. They take a lot of dedication, effort, time. It's just, it's difficult. It's difficult. And that was a big chunk of enemies we fought there. But it, we're all good. We killed them all full health. Aw, yeah. So that's one Nassad Scorpion King. I think the two show up in here, but apparently we only need to kill one. I'm pretty sure two show up. We'll see in a bit here, but I'm pretty sure there's two. Why oh, I only have to kill one? No, really, no. Not sure that necessarily makes sense, but as I've said several times the last couple episodes, don't question it. Don't question it. All right, ba -doo, ba -doo. and you're dead. All right, let's go see if I can figure out a place to use Triple Geyser. Here, no. Nope. There's absolutely no point in that, so we'll just save our aura and our mana for the next level, for the next uh, next floor. My Black Crow Gladiator has a bad feeling. What you got a bad feeling about, bro? 
Are you getting like bad luck in your horoscope or something like that? All right, next part. Bring it on, guys. It's kind of a, there we go, I can use it now. It's kind of a bit of a loose terminology to call you guys. I mean, none of you are human. You're all being manufactured as we walk through this place, so I'm not sure guys is necessarily a good term for you, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't think they mind. Do you mind? Do you mind Mr. Nassad Assault Type W9? I don't think you do. Stabby. Multi-stabby. Maybe. Can I kill both these things? Uh, the protection machines are annoying, but I can poison them too. I love poisoning machines because it makes perfect sense. It just makes perfect sense. Oh, we're almost finished the second part of Camilla, or the fourth part of Camilla's training. That's nice. So we'll actually unlock that skill, and if we want to change, we can. I am kind of liking my sword enchant, but maybe the other one's actually better. I don't know, I'll take a look and see. Likelihood is I probably won't change, but at least I'll have the option to if I so desire. And we do. Maximum cannon. As opposed to the minimum cannon. I totally made a joke. And see, there's another Nassad Scorpion King. There's two of them. Why did I only kill one? Whatever, we'll kill both anyway. That's just how awesome we are. I'm a very noble knight. I want to make sure that I finish the whole job, even if it wasn't perfectly outlined to me to begin with. That's how just how noble and majestic of a knight I am. Look at me standing there with the fire somehow burning in front of my face. Things that make sense. All right, three more floors to go and we're done. This is actually a really short. I think I said this before when it was on the normal difficulty is really short, but like it doesn't get any longer in the um, in the very hard mode. It doesn't really get that much longer. I think it's just these three floors. That's the only length change. It's really just not that much different. And we did, we did. Collect all the stuff. Collect all the things. Okay, fine. You can have them. I'll take these guys over here. I'll just do that. He took all my kills. I was gonna flame guys you the crap out of him and everything. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, man. Almost there. We're almost there. We're almost finished. One more room. This is it. This is it. The final sh countdown, final showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny which is a great animation. I love that thing. I watch it every now and then. I'm just like, I'm gonna watch the Ultimate Showdown again because why not? So great, so great. If you don't know it, just uh, just type into YouTube up top. You can stop watching this video right now and go and watch it if you want, it's great. Uh, okay, and now we are off to fight the boss again, Mr. Crow Rider. You're going down, Mr. Raven Knockoff. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I really went into Dory mode there. Just keep swimming, etc. Stab you. Oh, come on. What? You tired, bro? No, oh, man. This is just my daily workout. It's just my daily workout. You got nothing on me. Oh, there's more of them this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's... Oh, come on. I got an attack on you guys. Don't BS me. Oh yeah, all grouped up. You hit them all at once. I love doing that with enemies. And it actually, some sometimes it's actually necessary. If you do the uh, space and time challenge mode, basically you get two of every boss instead of just one, and grouping them up is basically necessary. It is basically an absolute necessity to, uh, in order to stay alive, you kind of have to group them up and everyone hits them together. Ah, oh, more prototypes, more prototypes. I like attacks that hit multiple things. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. And see, that's where the swords on both sides of me would be helpful, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one to pick there. I just don't know. Let me know if you have any suggestions down in the comments below, and I will do my best to honor them. I'll do my best. He's almost dead. We're almost there. Badoop. Yeah. Killed with fire. Excellent. Come on, back up there. There we go. Okay, that's four to nine. And we finished the story quest, so we're good. Right? 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 Maybe. Alrighty. A. S. S. Sammy, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and punch you right in the face. I am so bad at this game. I am so bad at this game. All right, and still no event experience, so that seems to be no longer be a thing. Okay, so let's clear Camille's training first. We need the right person. Almost done. What request? Oh, don't you worry about it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Last mission to test my wisdom. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, what? What is the actual quest? What are you? What are you talking about, woman? Or is it five out of five? Boss monsters in Altera dungeon zero to two. Okay, yeah, that'll probably happen at some point in the next couple dungeons. And then we'll be done that one. <laughs> That's only the first one. All right, let's quick clear this guy out of here. I am the best. That's right. I don't need SS to be the best. I am the best. Finally, load a Terra Core. Go finish this once and for all. But we're going to finish this once and for all next episode because I know you guys are just not tired of waiting to get the Altera Core at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out more videos like this, we'll just hit up the channel link below or the Elsword playlist in the description. And until the next episode, guys, I'll see you around.